Hi guys, I'd like to share a book review of this booklet, Spiritualism, A Warning by Ian Meredith. It's available from reachouttrust.org. If this type of book review interests you, I'll be doing more on my new radio show due to start soon on Eternal Radio. As an ex-New Age spiritualist myself, I can personally identify with the contents of this booklet. I'm going to outline its theme, read a few startling quotes from it and also add a few of my own insights. It's only 14 pages long, yet I found it invaluable and well worth reading. It contains quotes from spiritualists and well-known mediums, quotes that may surprise readers. So it's not just Christian propaganda as it speaks directly from the horse's mouth too. It opens with a confession from Kate Fox. She and her sister Margaret were the founders of modern day spiritualism. She said, I am here to denounce spiritualism as an absolute falsehood, the most wicked blasphemy the world has ever known. The Fox sisters ended their lives in the gutter and an American magazine even reported that Margaret herself ended a mental and physical wreck. As a former spiritualist myself, I totally agree with Meredith when he writes that most mediums are honest and sincere people with a desire to do good and bring comfort, believing they are working for God. He emphasises the accuracy of their abilities and powers is genuine, but he asks you to question the true identity and source of these psychic powers. Even a spiritualist referred to the true deceiving nature of spirits when she wrote in the Religion Philosophical Journal. For seven years I held daily intercourse with what purported to be my mother's spirit. I am now firmly persuaded that it was nothing but an evil spirit, an infernal demon who, in that guise, gained my confidence and led me to the very brink of ruin. So I feel Meredith's booklet would be useful for anyone, but especially New Agers interested in researching the negative aspects of spiritualism, not normally widely documented within their own literature. And also it would be useful for Christians too. I feel it's wise to consider the testimonies of ex-mediums and also of Christian ministers involved in counselling them or in their deliverance or exorcism. Meredith mentions The Challenging Counterfeit, a book by well-known medium Raphael Gasson. I read that book too and it's an excellent book. Gasson wrote that those who partake of spiritualism give themselves up to demons who pose as spirit guides and loved ones and that spiritualists become ready to give obedience to what are actually demons, whether they realise it or not. The spirits who communicate are not highly evolved spirit guides or the souls of the dead person, but actually demons impersonating them. Nagasin wrote that book after he stopped being a medium himself. Meredith outlines where the Bible shows it's actually impossible to contact the dead as they're now either in paradise, heaven, or Hades, hell. A vast gulf separates us and we are prevented from communicating with souls in those realms. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, God warns of occult practices. The list mentions mediums consulting their familiar spirits and also of necromancy attempting to contact the dead. God doesn't warn people because he's a killjoy but because he knows the occult is demonic and dangerous. A loving parent warns you of danger to protect you from harm 
or destruction. The Bible shows that mediums and other occultists converse with real entities called familiar spirits. The biblical or Hebrew word for familiar spirit is actually demon. These demons are familiar with families and well able to mimic deceased relatives. As evil fallen angels, they are empowered by Satan. Many top New Agers like Madame Blavatsky even acknowledge that Lucifer is the head of the New Age movement. Even Doris Stokes, the famous medium, was quoted in an article by the UK magazine Woman as saying her spirit guide threw her across the room. When I was a spiritualist, this happened to my own mother and to other mediums we knew and to other mediums that we heard of. In the same magazine article, a Christian minister highlighted the danger of such demonic deception. He's had a lifetime's experience in helping those who suffered after dabbling in psychic activities. Even mediums asked for his help as they felt they were being used for evil. As well as the experiential side of spiritualism, Meredith also refers to their creed, which denies Christ as saviour and mocks his atonement on the cross for our sins. This itself even highlights that their sister movement, Christian spiritualism, is a contradiction. And yet, even many Christians have attended these seances or even psychic fairs that were labelled as Christian. In their leaflet, Spiritualism, What Is It?, they declare they don't believe in the atonement. We regard Jesus as an exemplar, not a saviour. Man has no saviour but himself. We believe Jesus was divine, but only in the sense that we are all divine. Meredith's booklet ends with a prayer to Jesus asking for forgiveness of demonic activity and his cleansing from it. He suggests if readers have strange apparitions in their homes or require further help, they can contact Reach Out Trust at www.reachouttrust.org. I'd like to thank Reach Out Trust for kindly granting me permission for this review. Thanks for watching and bye till next time.